making plans. What do you plan to do tomorrow? I doubt that I'll do anything tomorrow. Please excuse me for a little while. I want to do something. I imagine I'll do some work instead of going to the movies. Will it be convenient for you to explain your plans to him? There's nothing to do because tomorrow is a holiday. What's your brother planning to do tomorrow? He can't decide what to do. It's difficult to make a decision without knowing all the facts. We are trying to plan our future. That's a good idea. I'm hoping to spend a few days in the mountains. Would you consider going north this summer? If there's a chance you'll go, I'd like to go with you. After you think it over, please let me know what you decide. Making decisions. I'm anxious to know what your decision is. I'm confident you've made the right choice. I want to persuade you to change your mind. Will you accept my advice? What have you decided? I've definitely decided to go to California. He didn't want to say anything to influence my decision. She refuses to make up her mind. I assume you've decided against buying a new car. It took him a long time to make up his mind. You can go whenever you wish. We're willing to accept your plan. He knows it's inconvenient, but he wants to go anyway. According to Mr. Green, this is a complicated problem. She insists that it doesn't make any difference to her. Going places. Are you going to go any place this year? If I have enough money, I'm going to take a trip abroad. How are you going? Are you going by boat? It's faster to go by plane than by boat. What's the quickest way to get there? Altogether, it will take ten days to make the trip. I hope you have a good time on your trip. I'm leaving tomorrow, but I haven't packed my suitcases yet. I'm going by air. I like flying. My brother took a trip to Mexico. It was a six-hour flight. How many passengers were on the train? His friend was injured in an airplane crash. Would you like to go for a walk? Let's go out to the airport. The plane landed ten minutes ago. Going shopping. I'm going shopping because I need to buy some clothes. If this shirt doesn't fit, may I bring it back later?
What size shoes do you wear? That suit looks very good on you. This dress is made of silk, isn't it? I'd like to try on this sweater. I'm interested in buying a new car. What's the price of that electric iron? How much is this rug? Is this toothpaste on sale today? That's a beautiful leather wallet, but it costs too much. How much do I owe you? That will be eighteen dollars and seventy-five cents. Do you have change for a twenty-dollar bill? The clerk helped me find what I wanted. Eating in a restaurant. What would you like to eat? I'd like a bowl of tomato soup, please. The waiter seems to be in a hurry to take our order. Which would you rather have, steak or fish? I want my steak well done. What kinds of vegetables do you have? I'll have mashed potatoes and green beans. Would you please pass the salt? They serve good food in this restaurant. Are you ready for your dessert now? This knife is dirty. Would you bring me a clean one, please? May I have the check, please? You have your choice of three flavors of ice cream. We have vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. We invited two guests to dinner, but they didn't come. Going out for the evening. How long did the movie last? The feature started at nine o'clock and ended at eleven thirty. They say the new film is an adventure story. A group of us went out to the theater last night. The new play was good, and everybody enjoyed it. By the time we got there, the play had already begun. The usher showed us to our seats. The cast of the play included a famous actor. After the play was over, we all wanted to get something to eat. There was a big crowd, and we had difficulty getting a taxi. The restaurant was filled, so we decided to go elsewhere. My brother wants to learn how to dance. We don't go dancing very often. Which would you rather do: go dancing or go to a play? I'm not accustomed to going out after dark. Making appointments. I'd like to make an appointment to see Mr. Cooper. Would you like to arrange for a personal interview? Your appointment will be next Thursday at ten o'clock. I can come any day except Thursday. He wants to change his appointment from Monday to Wednesday. 
she failed to call the office to cancel her appointment. I'm going to call the employment agency for a job. Please fill in this application form. Are you looking for a permanent position? I'm going to call a plumber to come this afternoon. I couldn't keep the appointment because I was sick. I'm a new employee. I was hired yesterday. Please call before you come. Otherwise, we might not be home. Let's make a date to go shopping next Thursday. Will you please lock the door when you leave? Visiting the doctor. I went to see my doctor for a checkup yesterday. The doctor discovered that I'm a little overweight. He gave me a chest X-ray and took my blood pressure. He told me to take these pills every four hours. Do you think the patient can be cured? They operated on him last night. He needed a blood transfusion. My uncle had a heart attack last year. They had to call in a heart specialist. What did the doctor say? The doctor advised me to get plenty of exercise. The doctor said I look pale. If I want to be healthy, I have to stop smoking cigarettes. The physician said smoking is harmful to my health. It's just a mosquito bite. There's nothing to worry about. Making telephone calls. You're wanted on the telephone. What number should I dial to get the operator? I want to make a long-distance call. Pick up the receiver and deposit a coin in the slot. I tried to call Mr. Cooper, but the line was busy. You must have dialed the wrong number. I dialed the right number, but nobody answered. The telephone is ringing. Would you answer it, please? Would you like to leave a message? Who is this? I don't recognize your voice. Would you please tell Mr. Cooper I called? Is this Empire 54093? I have to hang up now. Put the receiver closer to your mouth. I can't hear you. Would you mind calling back sometime tomorrow? Writing letters. How long has it been since you've heard from your uncle? When was the last time he wrote you? I can't recall how long it's been. I'm always disappointed when I don't get any mail. I feel guilty because I haven't written her lately. What time is the mail delivered on Saturday? The postman always comes at 2 o'clock. I wrote to my uncle last night. I couldn't put it off any longer. I enclosed some photographs in my letter. 
I didn't know whether to send the letter airmail or not. How long does it take for a letter to get to California? Don't forget to put stamps on the letter before you mail it. He went to the post office to mail a letter. I dropped the letter in the mailbox in the corner. How did you sign the letter? Did you write sincerely yours? 